But anyway, so yeah, I did, and I got to work with Don Adams. Don Adams was Inspector Gadget. And you were? And I was every single henchman. I was henchman number one, henchman number two, and the chief. Here's your assignment, Gadget, which basically is a Walter Cronkite yeah, yeah, ripoff. Yeah, yeah. And so um, it was great. The, the experience of working on Gadget wa the, the, was not only getting to work with Frank and learning the technique, but also getting to sit across the room from Don Adams. Uh, and you want to talk about the show that sh the show between the show, the show, the show that should have been. Icon. The show should have been us yeah. recording Inspector Gadget. We'd get a two-page or three-page run going. Somehow or another, we'd stop, and then we'd get 10 minutes of Don Adams regaling us with stories of the making of Get Smart. Shut up. Oh, it was the best. Oh, it was the best. And I thought How to cool myself, is this is the greatest job in the world. Because oh, I'm getting a check. I'm getting to hear one of my comedy icons. Because oh. I still, to this day, maintain Get Smart was one of the best oh, written yeah. comedies for, for television ever in the history mm -hmm. of the medium. Yeah. It, it, still, it still holds up to this day. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a box set of all the Get Smarts as a gift. And my son, Jonathan, Took it out. This was about three years ago, so he was only about fourteen. He he opened up the box. I was just letting it sit there because I have a thousand videotapes and, and DVDs, and I didn't I didn't crack the seal on it. He cracked the seal on it, and and <laughs> within a week he watched the entire yeah, series. I'm sure he just couldn't stop watching. He said, "Dad, I love this show." Mm -hmm. You know, Dick and, OTA and um, yeah, um, who also does a lot of voiceover, right? Um, you know, and Bernie Capel. Bernie Capel, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. So, but but Don, I, I learned every single backstage story there is there was about Get Smart. How cool was that? And Don didn't talk like Maxwell Smart all the time. No. You know, that was his. That was his. You um, do a great Don Adams. William Powell way. impression. But my reg, I do a, I if I may toot my own horn, I do a good regular speaking voice, Don Adams. Really? Because Don Adams doing Maxwell Smart or Inspector Gadget is this. But then when they yell cut, he goes, you know, I got to tell you. When Rickles and I did that scene where we were chained to the wall, so you know, they went to lunch and left us there because we couldn't get through the scene. So <laughs> it sounds just like they it. chained us to the wall, <laughs> called lunch, and came back an hour later. They thought that would teach us a lesson. When they came back, we were still laughing an hour later. <laughs> they couldn't get us under control. Fantastic so yeah, that was, that was the way. But that was just listening to Don. Don's daughter couldn't believe I could oh, actually do perfect. Don talking regular conversation. It was great. That's